Hello, my name is Ansu Lee and I'm from YISS and I'm the current winner of the FSI Second Speech Competition. And if everyone is ready, then I'll just start my speech. Okay. The year is 2097, Corona is history, and you wake up for a normal day of work. Where you sit and tie sharply along your body, you grab an oxygen mask and head outside. Along the road, you see metallic grass rooted against the sidewalks, imitating photosynthesis through a set of ones and zeros. And yes, I agree with you. I wish this was just a hypothetical. Climate change is a subject that stinks society at its very core. While the amount of pollution above our heads directly reflect our negligence as a species, we've come to realize our shortcomings and start to make changes. Changes that matter. Changes that directly counter the problem of global warming and its grave consequences no longer hidden from society. And currently, at the start of a fairly new decade, both companies and individuals need to step up in order to take responsibility of saving our future. Now, the problem of climate change can partly be traced back to global monopolies. Throughout modern history, companies have had a notable role in shaping our climate. By raising through excessive amounts of trees while maintaining tremendously cheap oil prices, they've been killing our source of healing while replicating the very atmosphere that swears to destroy our planet. Statistically, the development of environmentally harmful monopolies have led to the top 100 companies responsible for engendering 71% of our atmospheric pollution. While most condemn their behavior as leading corporations, the problem is daunting and seemingly impossible to fix when demand for cheap and premium products never comes to an end. Then, this puts society at a halt. What do corporations do in order to supply the never-ending demand while simultaneously becoming environmentally friendly? Against any fake aspirations claiming that all companies should just change their production methods at a moment of notice, a realistic approach is to establish bite-sized changes through a course of several years. For example, like the company Starbucks, over a course of five years, they've replaced every straw in the shop from plastic to paper. The seemingly unnoticeable act performed with small changes eventually saved our planet from an annual trashing of a billion straws. Much like this, a company's role within the status quo is to make these small efforts like Starbucks and bring in an environmentally stable planet. But again, while companies need to change over time, we as individuals can also make an impact through our daily choices. As part of a cause advocating on behalf of a better environment, a simple act of just doing a little bit more and taking that one step will lead to an accumulation of changes. Starting from separating your trash properly in order to save renewable resources or using every square centimeter on a piece of paper, anyone can be a benefactor to the world. And personally, as someone who's lived in a tropical country for a very long time, I've made and will continue to make progress in order to preserve the beauty of nature. My intentions are best shown in actions as I've only followed the news to save and actively engage in many school-sponsored clubs aimed at raising money for environmental projects. Steps like these, though being very minuscule, have and will continue to be my plan in order to do as much as possible for our world. Over the course of past few decades, as individuals are more and more keen for environmental products, the supplies of companies have shifted for the new demand. And through this favorable cycle, Companies and individuals realize a harmonious goal to preserve nature amidst the crisis. Companies such as Tesla or Fresh have shed light on a new possibility, technological change. Additionally, scientific innovations such as carbon capture all the way to agricult agricultural changes such as feeding cow seaweed, society has worked together in order to make a substantial difference along with previously mentioned efforts. Ultimately, products like these start to show a new trend climate betterment. With how change is occurring at such a massive scale through minuscule actions along with prominent innovations, companies and individuals naturally need to mirror each other and achieve reasonable goals. And through harmony and cooperation, let's make sure to prevent a world with robotic grass made of ones and zeros. And more seriously, let's make sure to work to achieve a world with a climate-stable society. Thank you.